This right here is our wheel. As you can see, it has literally everything that can either be a massive detriment to the team or it can make it a little bit easier. Fellas, this is my idea of revolutionizing the rebuilds. And the best part is, is that you guys are going to help me add to this list. So down in the comment section, fellas, I'm going to be choosing two good pros and two cons. Episode two of the random rebuild will be a completely brand new team. It'll just be labeled episode two. So what are you waiting for? Down in the comment comment section go ahead and add two pros and two cons and in episode two i will add them to the wheel so one more thing to note i do have plans in the future to add a playbook randomizer as well if you want to see more random rebuilds keep in mind let me know down in the comment section of course and it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this i did on the other hand prepare another wheel so this is our conference wheel let's see what is going to happen where are we going in this rebuild Please don't be a hard conference. Please just keep it easy for the first one for me. The American. Okay, I don't mind that. Oh, by the way, this is version 20 of CFB revamp. It just came out yesterday for me. So we have all brand new rosters. Our team for this rebuild is going to be none other than Houston. I'm going to respin because we did Houston not that long ago. Louisville. Okay. So we're coming in as a four star school, 86 overall. So we're actually quite good because of how the randomized rebuild works. It's going to be difficult to set goals, yeah, win a national championship, win the conference championship, win a Heisman, something like that. Let's see what wacky things can happen. Okay. Not bad. Malik Cunningham is here. 83 overall. We have two juniors as well. We do have an 89 receiver there. We have an 80 overall receiver, a freshman and Chris Bell. We actually have a lot to work with. I really like this starting off team. So you might be asking, when do we spin the wheel wheel though? The real wheel. We are going to spin that at the end of every season before the off season and at the end of the regular season. Wow. Apparently we need so much. I can't work with this. This is terrible. I mean, this cornerback does run a 4-4-4 though. Even the high 60s, I don't think they're really going to do a whole lot for us in the long term. Oh, we have a guard here, I guess. We'll take that. All right. Well, I guess we're going to just take the top 10 prospects in the nation. 75. Okay, that's good. That's our guard. Nobody else. Even the kicker is trash. Number one guy in the nation isn't too flash hot. Only a 75 overall. This guy looks insane though. 97 speed, 96 excel. Great carrying, great juke, great spin, great elusiveness. So obviously, Anthony Lowry, 700 points. We'll take Pendleton. He actually looks somewhat decent. We'll take Benson, even though he dropped. I'm going to wing it and try and at least get some of these top prospects. You never know. They might turn out as low lock cheese. See, if we had a randomized playbook, though, that would be a lot more difficult because we'd need to change the depth chart around quite a bit to fit the style that we're going with. Okay, so we can't get Lowry. We can't even get Brian Pendleton. What is this? We might be able to get three of the players in the top 15. Five-star athlete, Warren Caps. Chris Haynes, that's a 77 overall cornerback. He'll go up as well. Wait, what was his 40 time? 4-3-4. Four, four. Oh, yeah, he's guaranteed to go up. He'll be an freak okay i don't know how i didn't see this guy but he has a 670 squad and he's already 71 overall he is 20 percent lock so that's a little bit of a yikes but that's what i'm talking about 80 overall for ben sims we even managed to beat kentucky they were ranked 15th in the nation we will have to get warren as well because that's definitely going to be our quarterback oh actually never mind jeff woods that's our quarterback gonna need a receiver for him to throw it to and let's grab some defense i'll show the important parts of recruiting but i kind of just want to get to this wheel if you know what i mean 80 overall i think this guy was a sophomore if i'm not mistaken i don't know we'll figure it out but the speed on this guy and then we got jamal as well he's a juco junior he goes up to an 80 as well okay there pretty much goes our entire offense right there and we're finally ranked i'm not even kidding we might make the natty the first year we are currently 10 and 0 just with the updated rosters version 20 cfb revamped base team and there goes everybody as well including our future quarterback Woo look at these new menus as well this is unbelievable shout out to everybody at cfb revamped you'd be crazy to think i'm not taking this out wow this is a slow returner my goodness He dropped it. Oh, man, we're not going to beat Georgia. I mean, we're good, but we're not national championship worthy, especially not Georgia. They're on a different level. Can we at least score a touchdown? Just what? Can we even get three? Okay, we scored. That was disgusting. 
So even though we will be losing quite a few of the players who just got us to the natty, they put us in the best position ever because we're now up to a five-star prestige. We know we have the talent at our fingertips. It's just about building this team up further and further. But more importantly, it is time. It is time to spin that wheel. <laughs> Come on, please be something good. This is the first one. It has to be a good one. Easy schedule. Okay, we'll take that. Our first spin was a good one. Okay, I think we pretty much just lost our entire team. That's got to be over 30 players right there. This is the fastest that I've ever gotten three out of three insta commit though. What a season. Rank eight class. We got four five stars. One of them being the fourth best player in the nation who is our quarterback. And the best part is we managed to crack the top 10 with the lowest amount of prospects recruited. We tie with the likes of Texas A&M and Alabama. So even though we signed 18 players, we lost lost so many that we don't even have enough to fill an entire roster so our perk was uh easy schedule we'll versus james madison but we'll make it a home game the rest are all conference games so i can't do anything about it another thing to note as well because we do still have a lot of seniors we're gonna go ahead and red shirt all of the freshmen we just signed being a five star we still do not get any four stars at first interest does louisville just not have talent like that surely that's not the case i have never been so disappointed in my entire rebuilding career to be a five star i have seven players on the board so i'm gonna have to fill the rest of it with again the number one players man <laughs> this is not it so every single person i was interested in us is a bust so despite losing majority of our players we're gonna start off the season rank 16 and we're gonna come in at a higher overall than we were last year not bad we already have the fourth guy in the nation and the seventh we're gaining on both of them that first team made the ultimate sack sacrifice majority of them just graduated they didn't even go to the league but they put us in such a good spot we couldn't be in a better spot okay well first of all you're just off the board yes the easy schedule perk is working getting an insta commit here would be awesome we didn't get it we have three out of three insta commit i know it's not guaranteed but we cannot catch a break anywhere no way we have to be the unluckiest person to rebuild ever nobody wants to prove me wrong all right what about josh joseph then yes okay finally okay so we kind of do want this quarterback as well south carolina's kind of started to invest in him which is a bit of a problem i'm gonna stay on him though because he is an 80 overall he would basically be the quarterback that we finish on nice insta commit on vincent too another insta commit on rory robinson so we just had some big visits including the quarterback of course we are still undefeated in saying that andrew joseph locked us out how we signed eric thomas he's a great quarterback but we're at a bit of a point here where there's not really much we can do there's a couple of jucos we could pick up nothing amazing but that might be it for this season yeah that's our first loss oh man that's okay though for the second year in a row we win a conference championship and a of all teams we have san jose state yeah i'm definitely not playing this game if you hadn't figured that out okay but it is time to spin that wheel <laughs> come on something good again the first one was uh not that great two negative spins so this is one of the worst ones that you can get we have to keep spinning it and the first two negative ones that come up we have to apply them Cut your highest overall. Oh my goodness. Okay, and we still have another one to go. That's what I'm saying. That's one of the worst ones that you can get. CPU recruiting. Oh no. We're up to a six star prestige though. So that 12 1 record definitely boosted us. I'm not mad with it, but I'm not exactly happy with it either. And it sucks because this is our first year as a six star prestige and I can't even recruit. Well, whoever the best player is, is who we have to cut. So who's it going to be? It's going to be Desmond Tell. He's our senior defensive tackle. He's 95 overall. Because we just signed a freshman quarterback, 79 overall, I'm going to redshirt him and we'll play it to the the rest of his career because i think by then we should be good enough to win an addy or two the best player desmond tell i can't cut him can i cut the second best player i can unfortunately i'm not allowed to cut desmond so the next best player is our 93 still a massive loss for us well at least for the cpu they'll have everything at their disposal so there you go you cut me second best player and cpu recruiting so despite all the negatives we go up to a 91 overall houston goes up to a 95 Woo! okay this conference is stacked pretty much 
everybody is 90 plus. The good news is, is that they'll fall off sooner rather than later. We'll keep going to the top, mate. See you at the end of the season. It's not great, but it's not bad. We went eight and four. That's actually not bad considering the strength of schedule we had. So Jeff Woods put up 3,000 yards, 29 touchdowns, nine picks. The run game was somewhat decent. Jeff Woods splitting carries. Receiving end was pretty decent as well. We're going to be losing a lot of these players though. And defense did their thing. That was the strongest part of our team this year being A minus and it really shows even with the interceptions. Okay, the CPU surprisingly signed the eighth best class in the nation. That's not bad at all. We do drop down to a five star though. So we didn't even get to recruit being a six star. Say it with me now. Spin that wheel. Come on, good one. Join an easier conference. <laughs> I think the final year with Eric Thomas will be more of, let's say, a like a bonus season and the rebuild on Jeff Woods. But I want to see what Eric Thomas can do, especially because our team is going to drop off quite a bit from that point. Like Rob Robinson, who's up to a 90 as a sophomore, he'll be gone. But we do have the likes of Rodney Stewart, a freshman and Ben Leonard. So we kind of need to get the secondary. That would be my biggest thing because we're going to be pretty weak at that secondary unless we do something about it. Oh, I forgot to join an easier conference. Okay, you know what? We'll do that next season. Like this center is, he looks good, but the squat is just not very good, you know? Not bad, four-star cornerback. That is exactly what we need. We have a four-star free safety. We even have a good fullback here. I think defensive end is done despite cutting our 93 overall. It would just be nice to fill our board with players that are genuinely interested, but I, again, I don't think that's gonna be the case. The athletes can turn into cornerbacks, so. I guess I'm going to pick them up. Receiver also would not be bad. Okay, a lot of really quality players here. I think we could have sniped a lot more of them being a six star, but you know what? It might have even been a better thing that we didn't go to an easier conference because conference prestige helps you recruit and we need a really banger season. So if we had gone to an easier conference, it might have actually been harder to get a better class. Not even might have, it would have. Not bad. 93 overall, 95 offense, 90 defense. Did the rest of the conference fall off? It looked looks like I mean, they didn't fall off. Houston got better. Majority of teams must have lost some really quality starters because everybody other than Houston dropped down below 90. So that's a cornerback. We'll take Sean Park. Kind of a cornerback, Jonathan Inman. I don't really like the bonus though. That's a quarterback. This guy is a freakishly good corner. 90 man coverage, 88 zone. And the best part is because he's a cornerback wide receiver hybrid, he can even catch. This looks really good for a starting spot. And we even beat Tennessee. Okay, this would be a cheeky insta commit dang it we're in front by five reggie miller is here though it looks like we're gonna be able to snag him alan london this is the fullback so we can't get sean parks that sucks definitely won't be able to get jonathan inman so that was a pretty much worst case scenario and we don't get the insta commit five star wide receiver say it ain't so and we found so many quality running backs one of them has to be a beast another athlete another four star cornerback so this is like secondary heaven right here another running back that we could try our luck on a decent guard we do need some o linemen just to round it out just a little bit it's actually a good thing a lot of those guys didn't want to come here now let's filter out the fat the running backs haven't really been all that, though this guy is a running back. 82 break tackle, good carrying. He's also a quarterback. Ryan Davis is a beast. We have another kicker. He goes up to an 85. I already found a good kicker, and now he's not good enough. Oh my god. This is exactly what we needed. Like, we're done. After this season, I'll still recruit in that, but we are pretty much done. Don't want to offer scholarships. After this season, though, we are going to probably be, my guess would be, maybe like an A offense, probably an a plus defense and probably an A overall. So we signed our fullback. That's wonderful news. Linebacker, we're decent. I think we only need one of them. So I'd probably prefer to go into the offensive lineman here. And we got the fullback. Nice. We are so unlucky. Like it's, oh my goodness, this is unlucky. Danny Childs. Yes. Okay. Finally, we have so many options now. I, I think we're going to get the kicker by default. So let's just go. Keep it safe. We do need a safety or maybe even a cornerback transition. 
And look at that. The corner wide receiver. Oh, we got everybody. So this is exactly the caliber of class we needed. It's even exceeding expectations. And we get to join an easier conference next season too, which is going to make it tenfold easier. The question is, can we beat our biggest rival, Houston? It is going to be a win. And it was a big win too. Remember, they were like 98 overall or something crazy. There even goes Maurice Whitlock. I don't really want him to play quarterback because we're not even going to go that far in the future. But hopefully he can fit in somewhere else we do finish the season rank eight as well so we're already going to an easier conference but say it with me it's time to spin that wheel something good to finish it out I think that might be the quarterback. That's one of the, if not the worst one, the worst negative one you can get. So Woods as a sophomore, 3,400 yards, 37 touchdowns and six picks. Over a thousand yards for Brand. That's pretty freaking good. Jeff Woods going for 600 on the ground. Rob Robinson going for 804 as the backup. Receiving end, our first receiver over a thousand yards was Chris Bell. Blocking was really decent. It has been decent this entire rebuild. Sacks are about where you would expect and we kind of had an off year on on the interceptions but the fact that we went 12 and 1 you can see from steve taylor who's a freshman by the way had 84 tackles he led the team and popeye over here he also had 84 just like we predicted it is going to be the number one class two five stars 12 four stars we signed 23 people in total we didn't have the most five stars but still the fact that we were able to put this together amazing cornerback is done after that class look at that so whoever is on the top of this board it is going to be our quarterback so jeff woods 100 percent is getting cut it's fine though because we have all these sophomores they just haven't had a chance to really level up yet we've got our tight end who's an 87 sophomore left end who's an 86 running backs an 85 i can't cut jeff woods but what i'll do is i'll just cut his stats i mean northern illinois is ranked miami of ohio normally does pretty good too so let's move them over i like this though kent state buffalo akron bowling green oh yeah the only issue is georgia southern they are actually pretty decent how oh, this pains me to do so much jeff woods would have been such a good player but there you go not bad starting off quite strong actually especially with set o-lineman five-star wide receiver genuine interest outside linebacker more of the same uh we are good at cornerback it was just the o-line that i was worried about okay the o-linemen aren't panning out all three of them at the beginning went down straight down there we go that's what i'm talking about andre bird up to a 76 reggie outlaw doesn't really perform i think sean williams here though is gonna go up he goes up one not bad despite cutting our 99 quarterback we still have a 97 offense and we're 95 overall there is not a single team in conference other than georgia southern that is 80 plus easy this should be to dominate there are three teams in the entire mac over 80. Steve Taylor as a sophomore makes it to the all NCAA first team. He did it with those 84 tackles. Rank seven versus rank five. I mean, it looks like we are considerably better. You look at that as well. I said we we're going to be an A plus offense and an A defense. We're just an A minus defense. So I think the difference here is obviously going to be those five five stars that we found. This is them here. Matt Brown goes up to an 82. So we might even stick him at safety and move some of the other blokes to wherever else, really. I think safeties can also play linebacker. So that'll work out really well for us. Chris Little goes up to a seven. We got another stud receiver there because this is a big game ready if we win this which we do I think this is a natty season. We got one player. He's actually really good too We'll pick up mark johnson with the rest of our points. I think that's pretty much it though This is everything and more that we need lucky that loss as surprising as it was came super early on in the season So we could easily bounce back here We're already back up to rank six the game obviously has a little bit of sympathy for us at least so we are in rank one this is good we can win our first national championship so the easier conference even though we lost both of our best players twice the easier conference comes through with a massive dub and gets us back to the natty and the difference is this time we're good enough to compete as well we're fourth on the heisman list remember he's only a sophomore two more seasons to go for him i will tell you now though i will not be recruiting next season or the one after though virginia tech isn't very good all right so this is our running back i believe and he is un unbelievably fast <laughs> did you see that gap though down the sideline he's out of there that's a touchdown for the first play in the natty that's how you want to start out 
Looks like our sophomore quarterback is uh, struggling quite a bit here. Our defense going to let in a third touchdown. Bro, our defense is so ass. Like, I don't think they have stopped Virginia Tech once in this game. But I'm out of there, though. No, I'm not. Oh, no. Okay, we're in, in the third quarter. We let Virginia Tech get an 80-yard freaking touchdown straight back. Those pancakes aren't really getting it done, but do we have the speed? There's no way I get caught there. Because we know Eric Thomas ain't going to do anything about it. Got him. Just catch the ball we're in. Thank you. Dotty. Okay, we are in. I think we might have scored a bit too quick there. They go three and out. Okay, a minute left. Three timeouts. We can win it. It looks so bad there. We were down, what, two, three possessions? Pretty much the whole game. The fact that we were able to turn this around is very interesting. Oh my goodness, I think we're out of there. One man to beat, we beat him! <laughs> and we're in off the punt return. 51 seconds left, I still think there's a bit too much time here. Oh, they turned it over. All right, so at least we've ticked off two of our objectives now. If we can just win the Heisman in the next two seasons, this is quite a fun rebuild. But let's spin the wheel! Okay, come on. Just something neutral, please. Create an 85 overall conference legend. Now that is probably the best one. So even though we're in the MAC, we managed to get the number one class. We're back up to a six star prestige. So we have two 99s now, including our quarterback. Unfortunately, we have a lot of players leaving. This would have been the year that Woods would have been a senior. So we will get considerably worse. Well, I shouldn't say considerably worse, but I think we're going to get a little bit crappier than what we are going to be this season, without a doubt. So we are coming in a 99 overall, 99 offense, and a 97 defense. This will be the easiest walk to a natty of all time. And for our 85 overall freshman, I created Randy Moss. He's already an All-American as a true freshman. Keep in mind that I couldn't exactly make his stats what Randy Moss would be because he is restricted to 85 as a freshman. And whilst Marshall isn't in the MAC anymore, they're in the CUSA, back when Randy Moss played for Marshall, they were in the MAC. All right, let's go. This should be a pretty dominant season. Again, we got Kentucky though, so that might throw a spanner in the works. We're ranked two. Conference championship should be a dub. Thank you, 13 and 0. Like I was saying, I just want to win a Heisman, you know? That's the last thing I want to tick off. And we win the Heisman. That's all I needed. We're done, skis, man. And we got Georgia again. It's a rematch. Dang it, man. I really thought we would have got him there. So our Heisman winner had 4,200 yards, 43 touchdowns, and four picks. Just amazing. Both running backs over 1,000 yards. Eric Thomas almost had 1,000 on the ground as well as 15 touchdowns. Receiving in McGill with 1,100. Moss only had 659 yards. I thought he would have done a bit better, but... Uh, that's all right. Defensively, what are we looking like? Six and a half sacks for Matt Wilson. Just amazing. Four and a half for Patrick Mitchell. Interceptions. Pretty decent. Not bad. I wonder if there's anything that could really mess that up. Spin that wheel. Come on. Something nice for the last season. Hardest schedule. Oh my goodness. So Eric doesn't even go up overall. We have a 96 tight end, 95 left end. Remember, we didn't know we were going to get weaker. That's one thing. James Robinson's a senior too. Hold on a second. Where's Moss at? Moss got to be a, a 90, surely. He is. 96 speed, 96 XL, 94 agility. Okay, this is looking a bit more like Moss. Oh yeah, catching traffic. I, there's nothing I could do about it. He's got the stats where he needs them, you know? That's the important thing. So Michigan straight off the bat. We got Bama, Florida State, who was ranked two. And we got Louisiana, who we're going to swap out for Florida. Oh yeah, and all of them are going to be away games because we have to make it the hardest schedule possible. That might have just ruined our final season. 99 straight 99s across the board. The Mac can't compete. Okay, we just have to win these first four games. We lose straight out the gate. We were ranked three. Michigan was only B+. Plus. Okay, we beat ranked two Florida State. Last but not least, ranked four Florida on the road though. Another big one. Dominate. Okay, so we can still make the natty. <laughs> All right, so despite the Michigan loss in week one, we're ranked three, though. We have Miami of Ohio. They're only 10 and two, though. You're interrupting me recording on live, and you're just interrupting me, mate. Well, what the Good catch.
All right, we actually have a higher state. If we didn't have a running back, this would be wraps. 21 to 7, 21 to 14 at half. Ohio State trying to bring it back. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good playoff game right here. Not as good as the ones we had in real life, but uh, still down by eight though. Just don't turn the ball over. Look at us driving down the field. And we scored. That's wraps. That's game. Uh, we are literally the TCU of this universe. So they are trash. I don't know how they won their game in their conference game. So Tennessee lost to Florida State and we beat Ohio State. I'm putting Randy Moss at kick returner, by the way. I just have to. As if you wouldn't put Moss at returner. Oh, we went for it on fourth and inches. Fourth and two. All right, let's jump in. Where's me main man? Where is he? On the left side. It is a cover three, though. It's not man coverage. I would love to get Moss in the end zone here, though. That's a pick. Oh, no. I just, I wanted to force it to him. All right, let's uh, bait him out to the left. Jing, cut it back out to the right. Can I get a step back cheese? Step back cheese. Oh, I wouldn't even do it. Can we at least get through? Oh, we went for it. Okay, penalty on the defense. We're finally over. Okay, it took more than an entire quarter to beat up. Okay, 14-0. I'm like 21-0. I'm liking the enthusiasm. Look at us driving. They couldn't stop us. They settled for three. Nah, it's too big of a lead. They did give it a good go, though. I will give them that. 41-31 to 31 is your final score. Eric Thomas was your player of the game. He did win a Heisman Trophy as well. We could have just said, screw it. We're not doing a 14 playoff. But no, I wanted to end this on the right note. But fellas, that is going to wrap up the first ever... Oh, should I hit my mic? Fellas, that is going to wrap up the first ever random rebuild. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see an episode two, don't forget to like the video. Let me know your pros and cons down in the comment section so I can add them to the wheel. And if you want to see more, I'll see you in episode two for more. Yes, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Baby, not fresh, but we turn a tongue tongue. Hard to slow down, got me running, run, runs. Gonna pile up on me where you tell a ton, ton. But the kid gon' pop like it's bubble gum, gum. I'm talking up, 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 the money double. I'm full of the flavor, they better savor. The type of ladder we've been smoking to disturb the neighbors. And I ain't never really listened when they told me what.